Hello everyone, I'm Reed Hound Zero. Today we're going to be talking about actor Bernard Hale slamming the rings of power as a money-making venture, saying he's not interested in watching it or being in it. It's very interesting because I, believe it or not, I did talk to this man right here, John Noble, from who plays Denethor in Return of the King. He actually had the same feelings towards rings of power as Bernard Hill. When I talked to him, he basically said that it's a it was a waste of money it was a waste of time to make that the basically the, the the lord of the rings trilogy was a perfect set of movies that and that peter jackson I basically talked about how peter jackson put all his all into it and it turned out to be great films and i 100 percent agree with him so we're going to jump in this article from variety before we get started be sure to hit the like button if you do like it comment below what you think about all this and subscribe for more content. Let's jump right into it. Lord of the Rings actor Bernard Hill slams Rings of Power's money-making venture not interested in watching it. Bernard Hill, the actor best known to Lord of the Rings fans around the world as King Theodon, hit out at Amazon's Lord of the Rings The Rings of Power, which again is a dumb title, in a recent interview with Metro. The Rings of Power aired its eight-episode first season on Amazon Prime Video this fall. When he asked if he watched the show, Hill snapped back, no, not interested. I wasn't interested either. I didn't give a shit. The Lord of the Rings trilogy is the best. Two Towers is the greatest movie ever made. It's a money-making venture, and I'm not interested in watching that or being in it, Hill said. Good luck to them and all that stuff, but it's not like the real thing, a.k.a. the movies. Hill was then asked if the Lord of the Rings franchise should have ended after Peter Jackson wrapped his original trilogy with Return of the King, to which the actors responded completely yes. Which is basically what John Noble said, too. I think they were pushing it when they made The Hobbit. The Hobbit's a tiny book, Hill said. They did it well. They did it really, really well. They expanded it, but I think you can only stretch a piece of elastic so far. I think they managed it in The Hobbit because they were, there were some really good things in The Hobbit, without a doubt. Hill will never know what's in The Rings of Powers. He refuses to watch it, as should everyone. You should just watch the original movies. The Rings of Power is absolute dog shit made by Amazon. The showrunners of series have mapped out a five-season plan for The Rings of Power, which stands as the most expensive television show ever made with a first-season budget north of $400 million. If all five seasons of the show get made, it will cost Amazon north of $1 billion, which got beat out by House of the Dragon, which is not a surprise whatsoever. Critics were largely favorable to The Rings of Power. No one cares what critics think because their opinions are trash. With Variety calling the series sweeping and gutsy, it wasn't. According to pe actual people that watched it, not paid shills, by the way. While it's unclear if Hill's Lord of the Rings co-stars Elijah Wood, Billy Boy, Sean Astin, Dominic Monaghan watched Rings of Power, they probably did. The four main Hobbit actors from Jackson's original trilogy did support the series against Ross's online trolls. Yeah, they're not trolls because they want source material used in the actual show, not fake material that they think Chris, uh, they think uh, J.R.R. Tolkien said, who were outraged over the inclusive casting in the Rings of Power. Amid Ross's backlash, the four active poster photos wearing shirts that featured the ears of Middle-earth creatures and various skin tones. You're all welcome, Wood Roll on Twitter. Again, this is the same guy who has massive, massive TDS, just like Mark Hamill does. Like, massive. And would not give a crap if you voted Republican. So he would basically hate you, trust me said something to that accord before but no one cared about the inclusivity in the rings of power with the hobbits people just wanted amazon to follow the source material which said the hobbits had darker skin didn't say anything about being black like once again i've made this point in a previous video i have darker skin i could have been a goddamn hobbit if i wanted to be i have darker skin there are plenty of people who have darker skin they're not black it's pretty hard, easy to find people like that. It's just all care, all these companies care about is their diversity for diversity's sake and not diversity of thought. So they go around the lore and then they shit on fans who say they're and then say just call them Rosses and sexes because that's the only thing they have. They have no actual arguments. These words mean nothing because it's used so much and people just don't care at this point. And that's why your show is garbage. That's why your show got beat out by House of the Dragon. And that's why I fell out of the Nielsen top 10 two weeks after the show was done. So those are my thoughts for today, everyone. Thank you all for checking out this video. I appreciate it a lot. 
like I said already, be sure to hit the like button if you do like the video. Comment below what you think about all this. Subscribe for more content. Hit the bell for notifications. Make sure you set it to all that we get notifications when I post new videos. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.